What's up guys, como esta? So the fights just happened last Tuesday at Okada for URCC 81. It was a crazy night of fights. I was there, I saw a lot of you guys there. And of course, it was all highlighted by Team Korea versus Team Philippines, three versus three. Unfortunately, Team Philippines did not get the W, but um, some unexpected stuff happened to say the least. So let's, uh, let's do a recap and look at uh, what happened in that fight. <laughs> Alright guys, let's take a look at this crazy three versus three action. Here we go. So as you can see, Team Korea is much bigger than Team Philippines. Their heaviest guy, I believe, is 268 pounds. And Bullet's like 175, I think. Kaloy, 185. So huge size advantage for Team Korea, which was what I was really concerned about going into this fight. So right off the bat, you're gonna see the guy on the left, he's gonna land a, a high kick on Bullet. Right there. And then Mammoth, great teamwork from Mammoth, immediately hits that guy and they knock him down. And now they're both on top of Bullet's original opponents, but that leaves the other guy open. So the other guy is attacking Mammoth and Mammoth is trying to turn his way into him Bullet is landing some nice ground and pound on top. And Bullet goes for his trademark guillotine. Kaloy has his hands full with the 268 pound massive guy. And Mammoth there is protecting Bullet so he can finish his guillotine. The other guy tries to slam his way out of the guillotine. Bullet squeezing tight. So you have two striking exchanges here and one grappling exchange. The one guy tried to hit Bullet, but Mammoth put pressure back to protect Bullet. Gotta love that teamwork. This is crazy, guys. <laughs> Damn, Mammoth got hit with a big shot, almost hit ref Joey Lepitan when he fell back. Now, I think from what Bullet told me, Mammoth's arm is already injured here. He already had it dislocated, so he's having trouble standing up already. And that's why he's, uh, yeah, he can't get up here and face his opponent. I believe he already dislocated his arm, which sucks. Now, the other guy already got out a Bullet's guillotine. So right here, not the best situation, guys. You have two grounded Two grounded guys from Team Philippines and only Kaloy on his feet against the biggest guy. So this is a bad place to be in. And the foot stomp's gonna come soon. This is, this is what pisses me off the most. Right there, two stops. I have to stop it. And <laughs> look at this Korean guy fixing his hair as he's on his way back. Um, yeah, this is crazy, guys. This is ridiculous. And when I was watching this live, I was so pissed because foot stomps were only ever legal in Pride Fighting Championship. And this was like many years ago. Um, I think that there's one other promotion where foot stomps were allowed, but you know, it's it's been illegal in so many promotions for so many years. So I don't know where this guy got in his head you know, that he could do foot stomps, like bobo talaga, like seriously, unbelievable. And and I asked Bullet after, I said, did this guy even apologize to you? And he said, no. So yeah, bobo talaga, I can't, I can't believe this guy, you know, throwing foot stomps. Like, dude, what do you think, this is the street? It's still, it's still sport, it's still fight sport. You know, if you're gonna throw foot stomps, you might as well eye gouge and kick the guy in the nuts too. Like, what the hell is this guy thinking? And foot stomps are so dangerous, guys. Your head goes straight into the canvas, you know, into the floor, into the hard canvas. So very, very dangerous move. And there's a reason why it's not allowed in so many promotions. All right, let's continue. 
fixing his long hair while he runs away after the foot stomp. A joke. Here you can see Mammoth is already holding his arm, so his shoulder's already really, really damaged. Now, right now they're trying to figure out what to do, what to do with this, uh, this guy that uh, did this blatant foul that's clearly against the rules. And bullets damaged on the floor. He's got a lot of blood from the, from the early exchanges and his head is rocked, of course from the foot stomps. So, yeah, just uh, a mess because of this Korean guy. All right, so I cut it and I fast forwarded, guys. So from my understanding, what I was told was that as a penalty for the foot stomps, they took out one of the Koreans because the, the one Korean already got DQ'd for the foot stomps, but as a penalty, for the foot stomps, they took out one extra. So now it's, because also Mammoth, he can't continue, right? Bullets too damaged, Mammoth can't continue because of his shoulder. So just to continue the show and as a penalty, now it's one versus one. But this size difference, again, this is crazy. Uh, Kaloi, Kaloi is only 185 pounds. This is the, the second biggest Korean, he's 230. So 45 pound weight difference. That's like three different weight classes. Crazy. Kaloi putting the pressure, goes for a jab to the body and already kicked in the legs twice and, and a knee to the body. So it's clear that this, <clears throat> this Korean guy is trying to soften up the body. He's going for a body attack and it doesn't take a lot of energy when you're so much taller and it's easy to bring the knee up like that. So he's teeing off. Kaloi is so tough though. Got kicked down, but Kaloi stands right back up. Yeah, just heavy, heavy leg, leg and body kick and knees attack from the Korean. Just a lot of pressure. And you just look at the size difference, guys. Yeah, just keeps throwing knees to the body, like a slapping side knee there. And then up the middle. And here he's teeing off. I think, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. And that's it. So yeah, it's uh, it's a good stoppage. Kaloi is so tough. Hi, Nako. Crazy guys. So yeah, unfortunately, Team Philippines didn't get the W, but it's it's really hard when when they're that big. You know, I calculated earlier the size difference, and with all three fighters and their combined weights, I think Team Korea had over 100 pounds in a size advantage. So that's that's really too too big. It's too much. And I hope that in the future, when URCC does three versus three, it's closer in weight. Maybe like, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds at the most um, for a combination weight, yeah? Not, uh, yeah, for a combined total of three versus three, all three fighters combined. So that's what I hope for. But I'm just glad that, uh, that Bullet's okay and that Mammoth's shoulder is okay and they're recovering now. So comment your thoughts down below, guys. Um, Comment your thoughts on the other fights on the card too and uh, what you thought of the three versus three. Thanks for watching. God blessing it.